Hello, uh, I'm Daniel Marinescu, uh, one of the respirologists at Providence Healthcare in Vancouver, British Columbia. Um, I was fortunate enough to receive uh, a clinical and research fellowship uh, in 2020 at St. Paul's Hospital under Dr. Christopher Ryerson, who's one of Canada's leading experts in interstitial lung disease. When I first started my clinical training in respirology, I was taken aback by how devastating a diagnosis of pulmonary fibrosis could be often carrying with it uh, a prognosis worse than many cancers. Um, I was equally impressed by how many hundreds of different kinds of pulmonary fibrosis were out there, uh, making it difficult sometimes for even the brightest clinical minds to put their finger on a diagnosis. Uh, there seemed, um, there was so much that we didn't understand about such a devastating illness, and with that there was so much potential to do good by learning more about it. Um, this was one of the main reasons that led me to work in this field. At the same time, um, I was drawn to how this illness could bring people together, uh, both on the patient and physician side of things. Um, I saw uh, families come together um, at the individual level, helping to support loved ones in everything from uh, clinic visits uh, to lung transplant, as well as on the national level, helping to um, uh, promote the discourse on pulmonary fibrosis um, and uh, create advocacy groups like the Canadian Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation. Um, at the same time, healthcare professionals needed to come together again, both at the individual level in the clinic, uh, where uh, multiple disciplines needed to be involved uh, to best diagnose and manage such a complex condition, as well as again on the national level, uh, where we've been able to uh, create a Canada-wide uh, registry of interstitial lung disease that now helps us to better study and understand this disease. There was a huge uh, collaborative effort from all sides, um, and this was entirely unique and certainly something that I wanted to become a part of. And I'm certainly thankful uh, to be able to become a part of it, uh, thanks in no small part to the Canadian Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation uh, that is uh, funding my ongoing training and research work. Um, currently, uh, I'm studying genetic risk factors underlying pulmonary fibrosis. Uh, there have been several genetic factors, uh, heritable factors, that have been identified so far um, and shown to increase the risk of the most common kind of fibrosis called idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, or IPF. Um, more and more, we're starting to find that uh, these same genetic factors are actually involved across a whole range um, of uh, fibrotic uh, subtypes, not only in IPF. And this might actually signal that there's a common biologic mechanism underlying uh, that's um, causing all of these diseases. If that's the case, um, better understanding these genetic risk factors and how they lead to fibrosis in the lungs uh, would lead us in turn to better be able to classify, uh, diagnose, and manage each of these diseases. And that's something that I'm working on right now. Um, I look forward to the next two years here in Vancouver with Dr. Ryerson. Um, and after that, I hope to be able to join uh, an academic center where I can continue to care for pulmonary fibrosis patients and continue to contribute uh, to better understanding this disease. I thank the Canadian Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation for helping to support me along this journey, and I look forward to uh, contributing to the fight against pulmonary fibrosis both now and uh, over the course of my career.